Every society needs a dissident in the same way that Jesus needs a Judas. If, need, if no Judas, no sacrifice. An artist should be trained to be a free thinker. We are here to question power. In the Cuban Constitution, content is free only so long as it's not counter-revolutionary. I think life in Cuba is defined by fear. I think everybody's afraid of fear, and I love fear. Fear is what shapes us. Artists in Cuba know very well what are the limits of what they can say and what they cannot say. In Cuba, it's so easy for, for artists to make a big scandal. I am an artist. I never thought myself as a dissident or as an activist. As soon as you become an activist, you are accused of opposing the government, uh, which is very close to treason. There's no controversial artists. Power turns artists into controversial figures. As an artist, I feel my role is to always be against what is wrong and what is unfair what is socially inadequate, what is completely unjust. The question about activism in arts education has a very particular history in Cuba. They were the first so-called products of the revolution. Art don't transform the reality. Transform the idea about the reality, and that idea in the mind of people who will transform the reality later. We saw people in the art world as people that were thinking outside the box. I think the, the figure of the dissident has been demonized because it is the most confrontational a citizen can be with their own government. When you cross the line and you make this kind of critique and you uh, open the frame of the possibility to make art, the government has fear with that. The only luxury that a contemporary artist cannot have is to be naive. Art contributes to liberate ourselves. Can art change the world? Not by its on its own. Can art change people? Yes. I have seen art as a tool to change the world.